Hello YouTubers, Jason here from Two Old Guys with Crossbows. This week's video is on the camera equipment that Greg and I use to film our hunts. I plan over the next while to do a series on entry level camera equipment for filming hunts and what we've learned over the last three years. Remember, if you're not a subscriber to this channel, please subscribe. Give us a like, share with your friends, but basically, we're glad you're here. Thanks a lot. Hope you enjoy the video. Going out to do any serious filming or anything really isn't appealing at this time, but maybe we'll work on that later. Anyway, I just want to let you know why we're doing this video this way. The camera I want to talk about is Greg's vlogging camera, the Samsung DV150F. And before you run out going to buy one of these things, they're no longer made. This is a very old camera, but it has served Greg well. He has done a number of his um, intros on this camera and also it was mounted on his bow this year and got the only shot of his buck kill. The next camera I want to talk about is the Safari Action Camera. This is a camera that is normally mounted on Greg's bow, but uh, since he moved it's been missing in action and we haven't been able to find it. This camera is a good little camera for uh, what an action camera is for. We have some pretty good footage from this camera over the last three years. One of our best kill shots was made on this camera showing the first time we started using Luminox. The next camera I want to talk about is the Olympus SP550UZ. This was actually the first camera we used for filming hunts and I have a lot to say on this camera. The sound you just heard was the Olympus SP550UZ starting up and you can't seem to get rid of that sound which has proved to be a bit of a problem. The other problem with this camera was after two minutes it goes to sleep. And then you have to re reach up and push the shutter button and then it comes back to life. But after four and a half minutes, it completely shuts off and you get that wonderful sound again when you start the camera back up. So it just wasn't working as a filming camera for us. It takes fantastic stills and it does take decent video. The entirety of the video that uh, when I went out with my friend Tyler and he schooled me on perch fishing and caught this fantastic walleye was filmed on this little Olympus camera. So it does take decent video. It just has so many other issues when you're trying to film hunts. Like in this kind of situation it's quite alright. 
but to film hunts, it's not really the best camera for the job. We asked when we had looked at to upgrade from the Olympus was do we want a camera that takes stills and does video or do we want a camera that does video and takes still? The answer to that question was we wanted a camera that took video and could take stills. And that's how we wound up with the cameras we have today. The Canon Vixia HF R800 and Greg has the R82 which is Wi-Fi capable. I love this little camera. I actually have two of these. I'm filming on one too and I have one in my hand. It's an entry-level video camera. It is for taking videos. We're filming hunts. That's videography. and This is a great entry-level camera. It has its issues like small sensor size. For the price point of entry-level level camera, this is a great little camera and we've shot so much footage on this. Most of our videos are shot on these cameras. This this little camera here, you know, once it's fired up and gone through its setup stage, that's going to stay on until the battery dies. So all I have to do when a deer comes in is hit record. I don't have to bring the camera back to life. I don't have to do hardly anything. The other great thing about these cameras is the one I'm recording on right now. I never have to worry if the battery's going to die because it's plugged into the wall. So these are the advantages of a video camera over a bridge camera like the Olympus or a DSLR. DSLRs all have that as well. 30 minute video time. Greg and I sometimes chat for an hour. We never have to worry about this camera saying, no, you can't film anymore. We never have to worry about the battery dying because when we're doing an interview, it's plugged into the wall. And so, you know, uh, it allows for an extra mic and I have done, a, I'll talk more about that in another video. But basically for videoing hunts, you want a video camera and an entry-level ca Canon camera like this or I don't care you know the one thing I do say is pick a brand because you don't want to go through the hassle of learning now I know this system fairly well and I'm going to get to know it a lot better over the winter and so when I upgrade to my dream camera the Canon XF405, it won't be a very steep learning curve. But if I were to go to a Panasonic or a JVC or a Sony, I'd have a huge learning curve again. But I've had the learning curve on this, and this is why I say pick a brand. It doesn't matter, you know. Um, JVC, Sony, Panasonic, they all have great entry-level little cameras and the biggest problem with them is low light. Other than that they are great cameras and they're made for doing what we're doing which is filming hunts. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. The next one I'm planning on doing is on this little camera. Have a good one. I don't know if you noticed, but when I first started this camera up, it made an awful noise when I opened this screen, but now it's not. Uh, it's a real simple setting change that I'll go into in the next video, but uh, yes, <laughs> I, I forgot to shut off that sound before I opened the camera. It's, this is a brand new camera. It's just literally got it charged up before this video. Anyway, have fun.